Hey everybody, welcome back to the 3D Printing Corner. I'm Jason and today we're going to be testing the strength of some of those uh, protopasta PLAs re we reviewed a few weeks ago. Um, we're actually going to start with a standard white PLA. This is USA PLA. Um, and we're going to see how much weight it can actually handle. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hanging weights on this hanger until we break this. Um, so this is set up in such a way that this key will fit right into that slot. All of the protopasta ones will be done exactly the same way and when we apply pressure here it should snap right about there. So that's our hope. We'll see what happens. Okay guys, so what we're going to do first is I've got this 10 pound weight hung on this hanger here and I'm going to hang it on there and there is the 3D printing dog. He's wandering through our shot. You may see him again, or his brother's wandering around here too. Uh, so we're gonna hang this 10 pound weight and we're gonna see if that's enough to break this. All right, it looks like it holds 10 pounds okay. I think we're gonna ramp it up to 20. All right, everybody, so we saw it hold 10 pounds. Ugh, can it hold 20? It's holding, oh, there it goes. Did not quite hold 20. Uh, I would say since it held it for a little while, 20 is probably a pretty good place to start on the protopasta stuff. Um, so that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna kneel out some of that uh, protopasta PLA. We're gonna see how that does. Um, we're also going to try the carbon fiber PLA and see how well that does. Both of those are supposed to be stronger than your standard PLA. We'll find out. All right, everybody, so that kind of shocked us a little bit. My, uh, my camera wife actually jumped a little bit. You probably saw that. Um, so here's how it broke. Um, you can see right there, it broke uh, pretty squarely in the middle of the infill. Uh, it just ripped apart and snapped. Um, this was actually done at uh, 45% infill, so it's it's not solid, but it's relatively solid, and that's exactly what I'm going to do all of the protopasta stuff at, is that same exact print settings. All right, we'll be back here in a little bit with uh, the protopasta. All right, now we're going to start with the protopasta stuff. Uh, this is the exact same print settings, except it's printed in protopasta's carbon fiber PLA. Uh, if you remember, the white one broke 20 pounds. I'm going to run this one through the exact same test. I'm going to start at 10 pounds and work our way up to 20. Uh, I'm optimistically grabbed a few extra little weights to uh, strap onto it to see what happens. We'll find out. All right, so we're going to start with this 10 pound weight, just like we did on the white PLA. I'm going to hang it on here. But remember, this is the carbon fiber. It's supposed to be stronger. Doesn't even hold the 10 pounds. Uh, if you remember, it was printed in identical print settings. It was in the uh, rig here at the exact same, in the exact same way, and didn't even make 10 pounds. So, is the carbon fiber really stronger? Doesn't seem to be. Here's our two pieces. Uh, it actually did break exactly the same way and in almost exactly the same spot as the white one. Um, just under half the weight. Um, I would say probably less than half the weight because it snapped right away as soon as that 10 pounds went on it. All right, we're gonna come back with the HT PLA. Uh, I'm actually annealing that in the oven right now. So we will uh, see if that is any stronger than a standard PLA. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, well, it, it broke in exactly the same way as the white one, um, just under a lot less weight. Um, half the weight that it took to break the white one, and it probably would have broke under less because um, it snapped right away, whereas if you remember, the white one held that 20 pounds for a few seconds before it snapped and surprised us. Um, but it did break the same way. Uh, like I said, it was in the rig exactly the same way it was printed in exactly the same print settings so is the carbon fiber stronger doesn't appear to be we'll be back in just a minute with the uh, HTPLA uh, I have that annealing in the oven right now 
and uh, we'll see if that's any stronger. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the Protopasta HTPLA. Uh, this is the one that actually has a natural fiber fill. Uh, I have annealed this in the oven at uh, 230 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. It, it did shrink considerably, so that's something to keep in mind if you're gonna use this. Um, it says you should expect about 2% shrink and comparing it to other prints of this exact print, it, it did shrink that little bit. So we're gonna see, is does this one do better than the carbon fiber? I don't know. So because the carbon fiber snaps so quickly, I'm gonna start with three pounds this time. No problem with three pounds. Let's go ahead and we'll just move right up to five pounds. Gonna hold. Holds five pounds okay. Let me get the uh, 10 pound ring and we'll see how that works. So this is the same 10 pounds we used on the last one. Let's hang it on there and see what happens. Huh? This one does hold 10 pounds. Let's add another 3 pounds to it and see what happens. We're going to go slow this time because last time we got some unexpected results. Oh, it will not hold the extra 3 pounds. Um, so what that tells us is again, this one's not as strong as the original just cheap USA filament PLA. Um, I'd like to point out too that USA filament PLA, I got that for $10 a roll. You'll actually find that in my budget, uh, budget or bus filament series. Uh, this stuff, considerably more than $10 a roll. All right, so that's been our strength testing on these. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, they claim that they're stronger and I think we've shown that that original PLA held 10 pounds or held 10 pounds more than the carbon fiber and it held somewhere between 7 and 10 pounds more than the HTPLA. Um, they're not stronger. Hey, right, so this has been the 3D Printing Corner. I'm Jason. Uh, if you uh, liked what you saw, click that subscribe button down below. Definitely ring that bell too. And uh, we'll be back here Oh, probably within the next week and we will look at the other protopasta filaments and what their special properties were. Can you really shine and polish the stainless steel? Can you really rust the iron? We'll find out. Alright everybody, we'll see you in a little bit.